giant sets. Giant sets were a thing that was big back in uh, in late 80s, certainly the 80s, early 90s. Um, I started my gym career in uh, 90, 1991. So I worked in a massive gym up in Newcastle and uh, it was huge. It was it was covered the whole bodybuilding fraternity, had the, the fitness suites and things like that and sunbeds had been invented. It was wicked, good times. And at the time, everyone would walk around in rag tops and baggies and have um, bum bags on back to front and stuff like that and be hench and massive. And it was great, everyone lived for it. Um, you didn't have all the, the supplements you have these days, so you know we'd all be eating kelp and alfalfa tablets like they were going out of fashion, like they were peanuts, uh, liver tablets, um, brewer's yeast tablets. Uh, the protein shakes tasted like ass. It was hard to, you know, um, four raw eggs um, mixed up with a bit of milk down in them actually tastes better than some of the protein shakes at the time. So we're kind of spoilt these days. You don't know you're bored, you young'uns. So giant sets were the thing. And you know what? They're still amazing to this day. Um, I know the gyms are getting busier and things like that, but if you get a quiet time in the gym, and you can do giant sets. Please, if you've never done them, do them. Monster sets, they intend to call them in America. Giant sets in the UK. And it is, say, uh, take a body part. <clears throat> and you'll do five five exercises. Four, anything over four is a giant set. Four or more. So five or six exercises. So, for example, chest would be a good one where you'd start on cable crossovers. And, you know, you'd hold, uh, do, do sort of um, sets of 10 to 15 hold at the front for a, a good three, four, five seconds, come back, there's your first set, you move then on. Go on to incline, uh, incline dumbbell flies. Uh, then you go on to, for example, incline press. Then you'd lower it down and you go on to flat dumbbell flies, then into flat press, and then maybe finish off on dips. And you do between you know uh, 10 and, and, and 15 reps for each one. So you've done five sets, one after the other, five five exercises rather, one after the other. So bang, 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 bang. Then you rest for about two or three minutes, get your charge, get your, get your aminos down your neck, go again, let's go. And you do like five or six sets and that would be a chest workout. And boy, you knew about it. And you used to have this little tagline, giant sets for giant gains. And a lot of the pro bodybuilders, the Tom Platts of the day, all the big, big boys, would be smashing giant sets in their, their routines. Got out of fashion somewhat, but definitely consider giant sets. So an arm exercise giant set would be, for example, triceps bigger than a bicep. So I'd use five exercises personally. Start on a tricep, you do a tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep, finish on a tricep. So it could be uh, rope pull downs into uh, curling with barbells, uh, dumbbells, dumbbell curls, into uh, EZ bar push downs, into EZ bar curls, into overhead or kickbacks or um, nose breakers, something like that. And you do that, again, 10 to 15 reps, no rest in between. You could set that up around a, a, a bench and a, and a, um, oh, you just take your dumbbells over to like the, the push down machine, um, the tricep machine, job's good. And so if you could be playing around with giant sets, it is pretty phenomenal. Try it, see how you get on. Bye bye.